Hey everyone, thanks for joining me on another episode of Sketchbook Diaries. I think this is number five now. And if you'd like to go back and check out the other ones, I'll have the links um, pop up throughout the video. Or, there'll be a link in the description below. If you're new here, I would like to say a really big hello. Welcome to Tiffany's Fine Art. I am Tiffany, the artist behind it all. And in these sketchbook episodes, I just want to let you know that this is not my best work. These are just quick little studies that I try and keep under 30 minutes. I try and stay loose with my drawings. I just try and get my idea down on paper as fast as I can. And I do that for a very specific reason, which I'll explain a little later in the video. I'll also go over how to start a sketchbook the easiest way if you're just starting out and I'll also talk about how to improve overall. If you'd like to see much better artwork where I spend weeks sometimes even months on a single painting make sure to check out my oil painting tutorial series. Okay now let's go sketch. So in the art story of the day I can never go in to just get what I went in there for and come out. But I found these Faber-Caster pit pens and I got one in cool gray number one, cool gray number three, and warm gray number three. And I'm really super excited to try them out. They actually have this really cool marker tip and I feel like it can get you thick broad lines as well as thin lines. So this is what I'm gonna be working with to finish my sketch off. So when you first pick up your sketchbook to start to sketch, grab your lightest pencil and move as quickly as possible to put down everything you see on the page as fast as you can. And then when you have all the placements in the right position and all your lines right, then go in and add your darks. And you can either do this with a darker pencil or in my case, I'm filling it in with as much as I can with pen. So it started raining outside, so I'm back now inside my studio, and I realized that the camera cut off some of the recording. So you missed how I did all these leaves, and I darkened in the base of the tree. When I do my leaves, I like to make them in little tiny squiggly lines. And as you can see here in the reference photo, the tree has a lot of these little clumps and a lot of the sky or the background shining through it. See all these tiny little clumps? Those are all at the tip of the twigs. So when you are sketching, try not to make your trees too blocky, too filled in. There's sky, 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 all these little holes poking through, and we want to put that into our sketch as well. So if you can see, I am blocking in the thickest parts of the clumps. I've always found trees really fascinating. There are so many different types and shapes and colors, they're so resilient. They can grow on the side of a rocky cliff or like this one in the middle of a lake. That's crazy, right? Just a little reminder, if you did like what you see, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Until next time.